Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at a bit of a favourite in the Redstone community, and that is the Block Swapper. However, this is a Mumbo Jumbo video, which means it's a little bit more fancy than your everyday hidden crafting bench, because it can hide away more than one block. You have a choice of up to three to hide away, which makes it a whole bunch more versatile. Another good thing about this design is it's very compact, easy to build, and you will have no trouble finding the resources for it, so let's take a closer look. Now before any of you get wild ideas of all of the crazy things you're going to be hiding underneath the ground such as chests and furnaces and other bits and bobs like that, I do just want to tell you that unfortunately those kind of things can't be pushed by pistons which means that they can't be used in this build. I might as well crush your hopes now before you actually start building it. But anyway, let's take a look at the mechanism so you can see that we just step over that pressure plate and as you can see we get ourselves an emerald block and then when we step on it again we get a light so that can light up the room and then finally we get ourselves a crafting bench which is one of the most common uses for these block swappers and finally when we stand on the pressure plate once again it cycles back around and we get ourselves the floor colour. So there we go, it is completely hidden away. I'm just going to throw this out there before anyone gets too confused. You don't have to use that specific set of blocks in the block swapper. You can use whatever you like as long as they're not the blocks that I mentioned earlier on in the video such as chests and furnaces. You should be fine. You could use wood, stone and diamonds if you really wanted to. So there. That's that explained. Now the next thing is, you don't have to use a pressure plate, you could use a button, a lever, or some form of hidden activation device if you so please, so that's that. But now, that's enough of me wittering on, let's take a closer look at the redstone behind it. And here it is, this is our flush with the floor 4-way multi-block swapper. I don't know if that name's going to stick, it's a little bit wordy, but there we go, it is extremely small, nice and compact as you can see, the redstone is very tight and close together and I'm actually fairly happy with how small I managed to make it. So I'm going to give a rough explanation of what is happening here, it actually uses a piston feed tape to push the blocks around in a circle. So as soon as you hit that button, the block that is at the floor level is retracted downwards and then the blocks are pushed around in a circle and then the block goes back up and it will show one of the newer blocks. Now if you want any more information on that then there will be a world download in the description below that you can download and check out for yourselves But also I am about to start the tutorial so if you really want to build it then here we go So you want to get things started with a 5x4 area the first thing we're going to be doing is laying out all of the pistons So you want to place a sticky piston facing upwards This is going to be the block extender and retractor then you just want to place a piston facing in this direction a piston facing in this direction slightly offset and then you want to place a sticky piston here and a regular piston right here Then you want to go out round the back behind this sticky piston here and place a block and that is going to be your input for the minute we're going to place down a button. Then you want to place a repeater running into a sticky piston with a redstone power block on the face of it. And that should mean that this block here will extend. Now we're just going to get to work on our piston feed tape. So we just want to place a repeater here. Set it to two ticks running into a sticky piston with a block on top that makes a monostable circuit. Then you just want to place two pieces of redstone dust, a repeater. Set it to four ticks running into a block underneath this piston. And then a repeater, no ticks on that one, running into a block with redstone dust on the top. And that will deal with these two pistons here. All we have to do now is wire up this last piston. And to do that, we're going to take the output from this piece of redstone dust by placing a block like this. A repeater, set it to two ticks, running into a block. And then another block there with another repeater, set it to two ticks. Now if we fill in all of this, and you have to do it in a very specific order. So you want to have a block here a block there and then two blocks like that so if this piston was retracted you have like two blocks and then two blocks with a gap on either side like that but let's see if it cycles there we go and there is the cycling motion so as you can see it is working like a charm but unfortunately that is all I've got time for, for today ladies and gents I hope that you enjoyed this extremely quick tutorial if you did please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.